It's a dark and stormy day today here in Texas because a Texas-sized storm is rolling across the state. But that kind of got me thinking, Texas-sized. It's hard for some people to really understand what that means. For example, of the 49 other states in the United States, 48 of them would fit inside Texas. Yes, even California. There's only one that's bigger. Take a guess. You could technically see Russia from your house. <laughs> yes, Alaska. Let's look at it from another perspective. If you're from Rhode Island, the teeny tiny state of Rhode Island, hey, 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 I'm not saying anything, you're still a state, it's okay, but Rhode Island would fit inside Texas 221 times. Okay. Right? The one that really bakes my noodle when I think about it is if you're in El Paso, Texas, you are closer to San Diego in California than you are to Houston in Texas. And while it's one thing to look at things from a US perspective, it's entirely another thing when you look at it from an international perspective. Because if Texas was a country, yes, I know you're a republic, but we aren't anymore. Okay, I can already hear people secede. You would be the 40th largest country in the world. So to kind of really demonstrate that, I figured I would compare Texas to places where I have lived in my life. So to start off, we'll start with the place of my birth, Hong Kong which is now a part of China, but when I was born there, it was part of the British Empire. 25 million people in Texas, there's 7.5 million people in Hong Kong, but as you see, we need to do quite a bit of zooming if you want to be able to see just how big Texas is. Next up, the country of my citizenship, the United Kingdom, which is many countries, it's four actually. It might surprise you to learn there's 67 million people in the UK, but we need to do some zooming. Okay, there's London, uh, England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, let's throw Ireland in there as well. I did actually live in Middle Earth for a few months. I mean, sorry, New Zealand. Well, there's only five million people in New Zealand. What we learn here is if you ever need to get across Texas, you need to take one of those eagles from Lord of the Rings. All right, finally, let's compare it to the island, the city, the state, the nation of Singapore. While there are 5.4 million people in Singapore, as we do a little bit of zooming, it almost disappears to the size of Dallas. We've got most of Malaysia and a part of Indonesia in there as well. And I must say, guys, this is quite the fun rabbit hole to go down. You know, what would fit inside Texas? If you want to know if something would fit, ask me and I'll see if I can answer it for you.